What's going on guys? Politics Gaming here, and today welcome to episode 6 of the Republic of Turkey. Um, today we are going to be concentrating on our research and development. Um, last time we really just <clears throat> um, focused on our economy, and uh, we did a massive uh, infrastructure stimulus, which um, really helped out on... Um, getting people to and from work and it also um did a um i think it was about an investment of about 30 billion dollars and um yeah really all we did um we basically just invested in our infrastructure make sure that our roads are not crumbling and from that we got a 15 percent um boost in popularity putting our total popularity at 71 percent so we did invest in road transport, agriculture, air transport, rail transport. Um, I think we uh, did uh, invest in some education. And um, other than that, I think the next major project we're going to be doing is a uh, railway. Um, somewhere not in this area, I think. Maybe, maybe we can do it from Izmir all the way to Adana. Or from, um, you know, Izmir all the way over to, like, Karakose or Erzurum. Yeah, I know, it's, it's hilarious listening to, a, to someone try and speak like that. Um, anyway, so we have, um, this is actually right here. If you click this right here, um, it really pulls this up, then you can um, look at more instant information, um, what their political party is, uh, regime, and um, some quick hotkeys that you can click. Other than that, we're going to go ahead and go over to research production, and we're going to build about 20 more um, research centers. We're going to get that done about um, that's going to be an investment of about 11, 11, no, okay, that, <laughs> that five-year plan, um, would not work out. We're going to get that done in about three months. How much, how long would it be? Okay, that would be less than two months. So, that's going to be an investment of about $21 billion, about four years, um, or actually annually, that'll be about, uh, $4.1 billion. So we're going to go ahead and... Accept that we're going to build 20 of those so that'll put us at a grand total of about 40 research centers um, of about 2,000 people each um, in comparison in 2016 we did have about eight of these so um, really the and actually um, what we're going to do we're going to spy on a couple countries so we can try and um, try to get a more um, get nuclear, both nuclear energy and try and discover a nuclear bomb um, sometime soon, and then we can start a nuclear program, which which actually um, once we discover uh, nuclear energy, we can actually uh, automatically start researching. Um, um, a nuclear program. So I think that's uh, really all we need to do. Maybe. We'll look at it. Um, other theories that we're actually wanting to look up and, um, unifying the blah, blah, blah. And, um, other things. I think we're going to want to go after the one gigabyte internet. Um, you know, maybe some robotics research and as well as space technology. Oh, that's satellites. Um, energy and environment, carbon nanofiber. Um, yeah. So I think we're going to go ahead and put a little more money into human and social services. Uh, industry medicine 
agro food, and energy and environment. That'll be an investment of about $1.6 billion. That'll raise our deficit to about 0.2. Um, so I think what we need to do is that we need to get about $5 billion of revenue in order to pay for this. So I think we're going to come over here. We're going to ask Parliament that we increase the value added tax. Oops. We're going to add this into a reform. We're going to go ahead and put a couple tax increases. So over here, we're going to go ahead and create the um, research and de development um, payment plan. Actually, I think we're just going to call it the research payment plan. So we have 78. We have the right, right-leaning parties um, in on this. Um, the value-added tax brings in the most revenue um, of any other uh, tax that we have. Um, we get about $197 billion in taxes, including with this new... Um, change in tax in this tax uh taxing right here um what is our growth we have 4.3 in growth so maybe 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 we can increase the corporate tax by about 0.15 Um, we got the left to kind of start supporting it. I think we're going to go ahead and increase this to about 20%. And as well as making the rich pay a little more. We're going to put that at about uh, 36%. We're going to increase this to about... Um, 24%. And what if we tax? Okay, never mind. So it's the, it's the poor. We have a huge poor base. And we, we tax them by about 15%. Uh, I think we can tax them a little bit more. We're going to do a, go ahead and do a TV address. That's going to pull, pull in about $1.8 billion dollars. In revenue um, we're gonna go ahead and set this back to about 0.5 um, that'll be about two billion dollars in revenue and uh, yeah, let's tax them another two percent add Okay, so that got about bipartisan support. We have a 75% chance that this will um, pass. So let's go ahead and go to the next day and see what the repercussions of this are. For some reason, public finances, that went down. Um, I don't think it was growth. Um, no one liked... No one really liked that because of the purchasing power. Because of the purchasing power. Um, so, blah, 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 blah. Erdogan on a tight. Um, beginning of construction network. Looks like we have a lot of, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, construction plans. Um, let's keep going, see what else is in the news. Increase salaries for education. Um, our sector can only be pleased with the government's, I don't know that word, no doubt the influence of the head of state. Um, 
think what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to go ahead and come over here to energy. And we are going to continue to dismantle. What were they? Oh, wait, we don't have a past plan. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and dismantle about 50 coal plants. Um, that will take about four months. And um, soon enough, we will have discovered nuclear research. And, no, not nuclear research, but um, our researchers will have discovered uh, nuclear energy, and we will be able to start relying on nuclear power. Uh, ba, 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 I think we're going to... No, that's not even efficient. Um, solar, let's go ahead and build a solar plant. Solar plants are pretty efficient. Um, so let's go ahead and place one down. That will be one solar plant that we can invest in. Maybe we can go ahead and put down another. So let's go ahead and build a second solar plant. That'll be a combination of at least $900 million. Um, and that should maybe might be, might bring in um, a little bit more money. Um, not money. Um, <laughs> I can't talk today. Um, it will bring in a little bit more power. And um, the Turkish people should prosper. I think we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and do. We have ninety two percent approval. So what we are going to do? Energy agriculture. Um. When does this? I didn't put it into the re freaking reform. Come on. And that's not even ah. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and skip a few weeks. All right. Um. Looks like that we did get the research payment plan passed in Parliament in the Grand National Assembly. Um, we um, got a lot of ideological betrayal by your tax increase policy. What is your approval of me? 82. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and pass a few more laws that may make you like me a little more. So I do not lose the trust of my own party. Um, but tax increases were sort of a betrayal, but we got to pay. Uh, deficit is about 0.7. Um, we increased our state revenue, the amount of income that the state brings in, the country of Turkey. Um, most of that is through taxes. Um, other than that, we did bring up our revenue to about $200 billion. Um, and our state expenditure, how much we are spending... Um, did go up to about $206 billion. So that is about a uh, $6 billion deficit, which is about 0.73% of the GDP. So what we can do is that we can increase our GDP by selling to another country. What we can do is that we can meet with President Donald Trump or Chancellor Angela Merkel, Theresa May, um, Francis Holland, well, actually, France did just recently inaugurate a new president, which was Emmanuel Macron. Um, what other sellers do we have? We have China, we have Japan, we have South Korea, we have Canada, Mexico, uh, Brazil, no, nah, not Brazil, someone who will pay a lot. Uh, what can we sell? Actually, I think we can just go ahead and look at that. So we are going to meet with President Donald Trump of the United States. That will be, um, I think we're gonna go ahead and move that to tomorrow. So that will be on a Tuesday and we will meet with him today. So what we are going to do now, I'm against it. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of repercussions from this. Um, from that tax increase. You know, Erdogan did famously say, no new taxes. So, let's go ahead and see what kind of stuff we can sell to the United States. We can put that at about 185 185. So that's about... Let's go ahead and put that down to 171. 
Um, 171, 162. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and name this just in case they do accept it unexpectedly. Um, this will be the joint U.S. Turk BHR agreement. And I think I'm going to go ahead. Eh, it's not that big of a contract. We're going to go ahead and put that at about one year. That'll be about a $2 billion contract if they accept it right now. Um, and 126. Eh, let's go ahead. Um, well, actually, let's increase it to 132. That's about $1.7 billion. And go ahead and accept it. So we got the name in there. Um... So that would be about a near $2 billion increase in our GDP. Um, and then our revenue will go up. Uh, bottled water, what else can we sell to the United States? We have chemical industry. This is, gonna, this is definitely going to be a 10-year contract because um, one-year contracts do. Um, I think those are good for small contracts and um, contracts in which case that you can um, – import some stuff or um it's not that much but 26 maybe about a 10 billion dollar contract um depending on your gdp and uh depending on what country you're playing um these contracts will screw up your economy once they expire so go ahead and put them on 10 years because you're most likely not going to be playing for 10 years except you know in the usa series i did almost play for 10 years less than 10 years um, so anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and put that at 4,300, 4,300. Um, I think we're going to get this well below our, or their purchase price, but, uh, well above our sale price. So we're going to go ahead and name this the U.S. Turkey. Chemical agreement. Negotiate. 3,200. Let's go ahead and try to get a 3,500. Unless it was uh, more than that last time. I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, yay! 3,500. Mm, that's about a $28 billion contract. We are selling 8 million tons of chemicals to the United States that and that um, agreement will end on August 8th, 2027. So I think that's enough uh, contracting for today and I think that is enough turkey for today. Next time we're gonna go ahead and get a lot of major legislation passed in which that we can still secure our dictatorship on Turkey and um, ensure that the people are saved from fake news and fake media. Um, other than that, if you like this episode, go ahead and leave a like, go ahead and subscribe, and I will see you guys in episode 7 of the Republic of Turkey.